Hello, hello, and indeed, hello, how the devil are you? Okay, so today is Question Tuesday. Real questions asked by real people, probably somewhere, somehow. Let's go! Where have you been? Well, I've mostly been at work. I work in cosmetics now, which is really bizarre, considering I knew nothing about cosmetics before, and even during this job. But it's good, I like it. So, I've mostly been doing this. So, have you tried this popcorn lip scrub? It has coconut oil in it, and it tastes of popcorn. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but it's a great thing for exfoliating your lips. And in my spare time, I've mostly been doing this. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. So to remedy this, I'll be doing a video every Tuesday because I have loads of ideas here, but not the drive, and I need the drive. Who do you think the new doctor will be? The new doctor will probably be someone who I have never heard of. Especially for a YouTuber, I am really quite uninterested in the uh, visual media, like film and TV and things. Um, so I have no idea who the hip and cool actors are at the moment, but I'm sure they'll be good. Do you think the new doctor should be female? Honestly, I don't think the new doctor should be female. Um, not because I'm a massive sexist or anything, or I'm trying to oppress anyone or anything, but you know, Stephen Moffat hasn't had the best track record of writing females, and I think that would be insulting to kind of everyone. Would you really want a female doctor written by Stephen Moffat? I don't think so. Let's move on. I have boy problems. Wait, I have girl problems. So these two sets of problems aren't really two sets of problems at all. They're one problem. Um, namely, uh, we don't tend to think of the people who we admire generally as... Um, altogether human. Like, we understand about ourselves that we have good days and bad days and we have multifaceted parts of our personality, but we don't ascribe that to the people who we admire and adore from afar. You know, they are the perfect human being, and I think that's a really, really destructive mindset to get into. And it's a really, really common one, especially when you're a teenager. Whilst you're a teenager, you have all of these emotions bubbling up, and, and what you really want in a pun is someone to kind of, like, tone those emotions down or bounce those emotions off rather than, you know, someone to care for and things. Which is why I don't recommend a relationship to anyone under 25. <laughs> I am soon to be a graduate! <laughs> That's not really a question, but I completely get the sentiment. Um, I was in that position a year ago, and all of the things that could have happened are mental. My advice would be to apply for all of the things, um, especially ones that you're qualified to do, because you have this really wonderful qualification now, which sets you apart from like 99% of the world's population, which is pretty darn special. If you want something in the pretty exciting field, I'd recommend going on a TEFL course, um, doing a teaching qualification, or doing your master's at the University of Copenhagen. It's free for EU students. What books do you recommend? I highly recommend How Music Works by David Byrne. In this lovely volume, he talks about music complexly, and I like to talk about music complexly because that's what turns me on, baby. I also recommend Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green. Music Affiliate by Oliver Sacks. He wrote the book, um, I Think My Wife Is a Hat or something of that ilk. A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson is really good, also because it's really easy to read and genuinely really, really funny. I think like in the written medium, like with books and poetry and that, it's really difficult to be really funny because you can't subvert like form and things very easily. At least not in a humorous way, whereas Bill Bryson had this really beautiful turn of phrase. It's getting hot in here, so I recommend we remove all items of clothing to prevent the onset of dehydration. Yeah! No. Bye!